So this is Kayla Unlimited, a from the ground up rebuild and remodel of the original Kayla rig, which released almost 10 years ago at this point. It was at the very beginning of my rigging career, so obviously there were a lot of shortcomings, some missing features, and uh, a real lack of customization, at least for what I'm able to do nowadays. Uh, as you can see here, there are tons of customization options. Uh, ignore the little stutter that's happening, that's just because the uh, skin texture is swapping and that's not going to happen during animation or anything like that. So on the original Kayla rig, there was an age slider, and you could also grab some of the controls on the face to move and scale them around and stuff like that. But it's uh, a lot less straightforward, but far more powerful this time around. So at the bottom here, you've got this options control and this color control. And on the options control, if you look into the channel box, there are a whole bunch of options. If you sort of adjust your eyes to stare at these all capital uh, attribute names like eyes, visibility, that's sort of the category of what you can do with them. And towards the top, there's a few things you can turn on. You've got advanced body controls and advanced face controls. They're off by default. I'll just turn them on for now. And then you have body customization handles and face customization handles. When you turn those on, nothing's going to happen. Make sure you have handles visible here, but also they're just sort of a bug in Maya where, uh, see, I, I sort of had to like drag and jiggle the camera to get all these blue handles to show up. Just a Maya bug. If they still don't show up, just toggle the control layer on and off and they should pop in. So what these are are basically offsets above uh, each control that they represent. So for instance, you could grab and scale the socket control, but that's going to leave you with non-zero values, making animation harder. You can grab the socket handle instead and adjust the exact same stuff without it actually affecting the animation control. In addition to the customization handles, you've got uh, some slider attributes in the channel box for all the different parts of the body and some parts of the face. For instance, you've got a spine thickness attribute, spine length, waist, and physique, which is just plugged straight into the breath control, which is normally found on the uh, IK tip. And I'm not going to go through and adjust every single one of these now, but pretty much every part of the body has options similar to that. And there's a couple on the brows for like brow thickness and lip thickness and stuff like that. Now towards the top of the options control is where you can adjust the outfit and different visual alterations like that. So we've got the outfit section here. You've got a couple of glasses options. You've got the original circular Kayla ones, the default ones, which are called stylish, and then you can turn them off. You can turn the actual glass glasses on and off. It's off by default. You've got a couple of shirt options. Obviously, if you put on this bathing suit one, you'd want to turn the pants off. Dress, there's automatic skinned and animatable versions of these. If you use the animatable version, make sure you turn on skirt slash dress controls so you can actually animate them. Also got a couple of options for bottoms here. Same with the skirt as it was with the dress where you've got an automated version that's skinned and you've got an animatable version. And you got a tutu that has all these controls here. Then there's some shoe options, socks, different types of earrings and a couple of different hair options. Obviously these ones here are intended for black characters, so you'd want to swap the skin color, and we'll get to that in a second. There's also a, a short-haired option which you can use for uh, whatever characters you want. It was originally designed for Kyle, the, the male variant, but uh, I think it looks pretty good on, on Kayla as well. Might also be a good look for non-binary characters. And there's a couple of other options here that you can play around with. Next to the options control, there is a color control. At the top of the color control, there are options for uh, various uh, skin colors and eyebrow colors in regards to some of that. And everything else is just using uh, under the hood nodes to allow you to adjust the color and saturation and brightness of all the different uh, major shaders in the file. And the way it works is pretty similar to if you're in Photoshop and you press Control U, it opens that hue and saturation slider. So by default, Let's uh, use the hair as an example. By default, you can just slide the hue around to change to exact what color you want, and brightness, and saturation. And then the same for specular. But you also have this colorize option, and this is basically to inject a color into it. By default, it'll just make it red. 
and then it'll be a bit easier to adjust. Just keep in mind when you do that, the texture will sort of go away. The biggest reason that's in there is for areas that are either super dark or super light. So here's the sneaker accents. Because they're so bright, changing the hue doesn't really do anything, even if you make it dark first, just because that's how it works under the hood, uh, just based on the way Maya sets up their node system. But if you inject it with a color, then suddenly you are able to adjust it. So on the off chance that uh, the hue brightness saturation isn't doing much, try injecting it with a color first. The rig for her body uses the same systems as my Mecha Mech rigs, the body mechanics rigs that came out a couple months ago, maybe a year ago at this point actually. It's all within the same system, same control names, you'll, you'll be able to easily transfer animation between all of my characters, uh, starting with the Mecha Mechs and now including Kayla Unlimited. And as far as being far better than the original Kayla, the FK arms can each be, well not the shoulder, but the FK arms can be translated. Uh, IK and FK, you can both grab this uh, elbow control, which also has a built-in uh, pinning system if you want to pin it to the world. It's a lot of cool stuff you can do with the hand. Got curl, bend, splay and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can play around with. The spine is a hybrid, you can rotate and translate these FK controls, and then you've got IK controls as well, and two different hip controls that ride on top of that. For the face, I added quite a bit of synergy between the different controls. You'll see when you move the mouth corner, some uh, lower lid and upper cheek and lower cheek stuff is reacting automatically. And if you ever want to reduce some of that, specifically on the lids, you can turn off this follow mouth corner, and follow cheek upper, and then that'll get rid of that. But by default, it allows it to be pretty fleshy. There's some extra mouth stuff you couldn't do before, like a zipper, which would allow you to do some chewing motion. The brows are pretty similar to before, pretty self-explanatory. You've got these three levels of controls. Uh, red ones are just sort of the, like the yellow ones, they're just in between, they move automatically, and then you can adjust individual joints. Got some fleshy lid, and you can adjust that with these follow I, X, and Y. The lids are all translate based, you move from left and right for that sort of action, and just up and down. And then you could also grab these individual controls. Got a lid crease control. Like before, you have the head upper, head lower controls. But in addition to this, you could grab this guy here for a sort of fake squash and stretch. It's all, this whole rig is game engine friendly, by the way. It uses nothing but joints. So this is kind of just hijacking the offsets above the um, head upper and head lower, translating, rotating, and scaling them. And yep, yeah, that's Kayla Unlimited. If she is not out yet, if you're watching this right when this video launches, she should be out uh, in the next couple of days.